When you say that you completed BTEC in 2015 and you have been working with a public sector bank, which area of software development have you been working with? Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you're new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics that can help you grow from where you are to an epic level of success. So if you want to grow fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. But coming back to Mithen Shah, uh, Mithen, I completed my BTEC in EC, uh, that's I think electronics and communication. In 2015, I've been working in public sector bank. Now I want to switch to IT. So from where can I start and how can I do it? What should I learn first? Okay. So uh, first thing we have to understand is that when you're talking about the software industry, there are different functions within the software industry. Okay. And primarily there are uh, five to six main functions within the software industry. So one is software development. Okay. And mostly more than 50 to 60 percent of people or even 70 75 percent people want to go into software development okay so software development is one part where you do programming and you build application all those things okay then you have quality assurance okay quality assurance is where you do the testing part of it or you decide what should be the quality of the software and you come up with a plan to handle the quality of the software, okay? So there is a quality assurance part, which is not a programming part, okay? Then you have support, which is either it is an application support or production support, or there is a support to consumer. For example, uh, if there is a big application like Zomato or Swiggy, okay, if there are problems which are coming in the software application, then you, you will require application support engineers who will go and fix those problems. Or if there is an application like uh, Amazon and things are going wrong, then there will be a support team who is handling all these things. Okay. As I'm talking about as far as the application is concerned. Okay. So there will be op application support, production support. So there is the support. Then comes the project management piece. Okay. Where you have agile project managers, waterfall project managers. These are the people who make sure that the project of application uh, whatever application we are developing, that project is going on smoothly. We are, we are uh, doing the work in the most productive and efficient manner and we are able to release the softwares at the desired date. Okay, so there is a project management uh, piece within the, within the entire software industry. Then we have what you call the business uh, side of the software. So where you are talking to the business that is the sales and support okay marketing and sales will be there there will be technical uh, team who will handle the business analysis of of the client okay so there then there is a that that particular department which comes under the uh, marketing and sales but they will be technical uh, th these people will be technical sales people okay and then finally there is, uh, from, from respect to the software industry, the final uh, department is going to be uh, the operational department. Okay, the operation means the HR, the uh, finance, then people who take care of the offices, the uh, people who, who manage the assets within the company. So that is the operational department. So when you talk about the software industry, there are all these departments which are there within the software industry. Now, when you say that you completed BTEC in uh, electronics and communication in 2015 and you have been working with a public sector bank, what, which area of software development have you been working with? You have to first focus in that area to get into an IT company. Okay. If you really want to go into software development, then what you will have to do is you'll have to learn at least one programming language. 
okay you'll have to learn at least one programming language and from there you can start your software journey but you have to understand that when you learn a, a programming language and start from there you will be in the software industry you will be starting at zero level okay if you have been doing programming or if you have been doing any kind of software activity within the bank for example if you are ma managing the data uh, data center of the bank or if you are managing uh, you know uh, anything related to software industry if you are managing within the bank then you can use that experience to get into the software industry and you can say that i have an experience within this area of software development and i want to get into it from this point of view otherwise you will have to get some kind of a certification depending on whatever area you want to join if you want to join software development then you will have to get a certification in programming from from whatever sources are there there are sources which i mention in the description of this video but you have to get some kind of a certificate if you want to go into project management then you will have to get a certification in project management if you want to go into business uh, management that is uh, marketing sales business development then you will have to get some kind of a certification which shows that you have the experience in this area and this is only important because you are uh, changing your field from whatever you are maybe public sector bank or whatever field you are to this field okay so for that reason you will have to get into that okay i hope mithin that this uh, helps you and uh, this answers your question okay you have to learn first what area you want to get into okay if you want to get into support then you have to learn how to do manual testing okay you have to think about whatever applications you have used in the bank and how you are going to test those application and it is better to do a kind of a course which will be like 3 months 6 months course to get into that area and from there then you can decide once you are in the software industry depending on what you like within the software industry then you can decide what to do okay so uh, i hope mithin that uh, that answers your question and you are able to uh, get into the software industry i will also like to know why do you want to get into the software industry what what's pulling you to software industry like this video if you have not yet like this video share this video with other people make sure that you subscribe to this channel check my programs on a player the link is in the de description it is very useful if you want to get a better salary thank you very much see you in the next live